Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? The Undisputed Man here with a quick impromptu video. Today is Sunday. Uh, I was not scheduled to do, a, to do a video, but I don't know if this is going to come out on today on Sunday. But this video is about a woman. Uh, people probably don't care about this video, but it's just an impromptu video. This is, this is an example of why black women are losing out here in the marketplace. So I reacted to a woman's... Uh, we had a conversation before uh i forgot what the conversation was about it was something stupid she got mad started cursing me out blah blah so i reacted to a uh to a story that she posted i'm gonna go to the story right now this is the story right here so this is the story that she posted and it was about um as you can see so it says it's crazy how difficult it is to find emotionally intelligent available men especially black ones it's also crazy how emotionally available those same men are for non-black women it's violent and uh, at this point <coughs> and i found that to be very stupid because she talks about how difficult it is to find black men who are intelligent and available um uh, there's a lot of black men who are in intelligent but these black men who are intelligent and, and is high value these guys aren't even paying black women attention like that. Let's be honest here. So I'm going to go back to the story. I'm going to go back to the, the, the quick conversation that cursing me out, blah, blah, blah. But um, so she got mad because I reacted to that post <coughs> about how difficult it is to find available black men. And she got mad at me because I reacted to it in a laughing emoji. And she said, beat it, fathead. And this shows you how... Um, how ignorant a lot of black women are. Y'all wonder why you're losing out here in the dating marketplace. You wonder why black men are dating other races of women. Um, so I responded. I said, insecure much. She got mad and said, I'm very secure. Disappear, B-I-T-C-H. She got mad <coughs> because I called out on her insecurities. So I said, hey, the fact that you're mad because black men like other races of women shows that you're insecure. Maybe it's you, not us. Not us. Because black women are quick to blame men, especially black men, for not dating them. We're not going to date black women who's rude, disrespectful, entitled, all this other crap. We're not going to do that, ladies. So, she got mad, uh, and this is what she wrote. She said, you're really so loud and wrong and, and effing stupid. I'm not mad at anything you literally need to go back to your kind go back to kindergarten because your <coughs> comprehension skills is S-H-I-T. Too effing old to be this dumb. You're a jackass and very annoying. I don't even know why you found your ugly, ignorant ass in my views anyway. B-I-T-C-H. So this is what I ended the conversation with. I said, women like you who, are, who use foul language, especially black women who use foul language in every sentence, you are unattractive. Uh, so I told her, you're very unattractive while the Asian women are taking us black men away from y'all, which is true. I see black men with mostly white women and Asian women all the time now. I still see black women on um, black men with black women once in a while, but it's mostly a white woman now. So this woman, and I'm going to go back to what she, the story. So she says how it's difficult to find emotionally intelligent, available men. These men, why are these men going to be uh, emotionally available? Black men, any man from, for this matter, why the hell would we be emotionally available when we know that that, that, that doesn't benefit us? We could do all the right things in the world. We can provide for you. We could be there for you emotionally when you go through a tough time. We could do all these different types of stuff. And, and women, especially black women, are not appreciative of what black men does for them. So why the hell would we be emotionally uh, available? Emotionally uh, 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 men who are emo emotionally unavailable, those are the most attractive men in the world. Because men are not going to be there for you 24-7. They have their purpose to focus about. They're not focusing on your problems that happen at work. We don't care about what happened, um, what happened with you at work. We don't care about what happened to you at your parents' house. We don't care about what happened to you at the park. We don't care about none of that stuff, ladies. Especially when it's not going to benefit us. We don't give a crap. Then she gets mad and says how it's crazy how emotionally available those same men are for non-black women. You know why... <coughs> You know why men are emotionally available for non-black women? Because non-black women, especially Filipinas, Japanese, Asian, etc., those women are traditional. The problem with a lot of black women is 
They're not traditional. They're not housewives. They're not wives in general. They don't want to be a wife. They want the wedding. They don't want. They don't want to be wives out here. And they women complain about us being emotionally available to other women, other races of women, because those races of women are traditional and they know they role. Black women, most black women, not all. I want to make that clear. Not all, but most black women are not wives. They're not wifey material. Because they wasn't raised to be a wife. If you look at Filipinas, Asian, etc., they were raised by their family to be traditional and to be a wife. That that's why black men are emotionally available to other races of women. Now, do I think that's a win-win for black men? Sometimes it is. Even with other races of women, sometimes being emotionally available will still put you in the red zone. What I mean by the red zone is you lose the game. You're supposed to be emotionally unavailable when it comes to women, not emotionally available. So, and then she had the nerve to say it's violent out here. How is it violent out here for black men to date other races of women? Are you jealous that black men don't want you? The women who complain about, um, the women who complain about black men not wanting them, they're the problem. It's not the black men. It's the black. It's the black woman. I'm not saying all black women are like this, but most black women are like this to a point where black men look at that and say, you know what? We don't want to date women like that. It's just, it's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. So, ladies, if you're a black woman, stop blaming the black man of why you're losing out here. Stop blaming the black man for the reason why uh, one out of four of you will be married in your lifetime and, and three out of four of y'all will never be married in your lifetime. Stop blaming these black men. Black men gotta go where the peace and quiet is at. And if the peace and quiet is not with a black woman, they gotta go to another race of women where they will get peace and quiet. So if you if you're dating a black woman and she's loud, obnoxious, entitled, disrespectful, narcissistic, rude, and you can't take it anymore, fellas, just leave the chick alone. It's that simple. I don't mess with black women like that. I don't. The women that, I, that I've approached in the past, I've approached one black woman. I don't think she was black. She was another race. But she looked like she was black. But most of the women that I've approached and tried to talk to were Asian women and white women. I don't approach black women like that because they always look angry. They always have that uh, wrestling bitch face on. So, Yeah. The women like this, women like this is the perfect example of why you don't date. You don't date them. I'm not saying all black women are like this. You have certain black women in the United States who are traditional and can be house can be wives, but most aren't. So women like this who get mad and, and, and blame the black man and then talk shit to uh, to, to a man uh, to to another man for stating stating an opinion and a fact. And just to throw another fact out there, black women have the the least acceptance rate on dating apps. Black women are not getting play out here on on the dating apps like like y'all think they are. Black women and white men are the uh, the least accepted on race on dating apps. While the Asian women are getting most of the play on dating apps. So yes, y'all black women are going to continue losing out here in the dating marketplace in the next 50 years, if you don't get your shit together, if you don't get your shit together, guess what's going to happen? Those black men are going to continue dating other races. So, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, no, Please do not hit this woman up on Instagram t- on talking crap, saying how I did a video on her, and then she found my YouTube, and then bl- there's a whole thing. Don't do it. Please don't do it. If that's the case, I will change my Instagram around so she can't find me. <laughs> so... But yeah, that's going to be in this video. Ladies, especially black women, please stop acting the way you're acting. Stop blaming the black man for why you're losing out here. You're losing because of the, of the way you act. That's why you're losing. The Asian women are coming in and taking the men, black men away without even having to break a sweat. We got to go where the peace and quiet is at, ladies. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. Don't forget to like, uh, like share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to y'all next time. Peace out.